thought it would be fun to offer some second step variations. These are totally optional um, alternatives for some of the postures. The first step would be just like the regular beginner's class, and then the second set, just some different choices for you to explore and have some fun with. So let's begin. As always, we start with pranayama deep breathing, so find your place on your mat, feet together, then interlace fingers, bring your knuckles to your chin, thumbs to throat, engage the legs, stand up tall, exhale the old breath out, and begin. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, Six elbows touch. Inhale, slow, deep, full breath. Pull the lungs from the bottom to the top. Pull the belly in and stretch up. And then exhale. Stay lifted through your chest. Let your neck relax completely. Shoulders down, elbows up, and the elbows touch. Inhale again. Take your time and move everything together. Arms, head, and breath. Lungs full, elbows high. And then exhale. Keep the weight even on your feet. Squeeze your thighs and your inner thighs. Squeeze your glutes and now push from the belly so you're empty here. And again, inhale one, two, three, four, five, six, and exhale one, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows touch. Inhale, take your time. Pull the belly in. Focus forward. And then exhale. Stay lifted through your chest, no collapsing. Shoulders relax out of the ears, elbows lift high up off the chest, elbows touch. And slowly inhale. Relaxing your nose, using your throat, draw your breath deep into the lungs, stretch up. And then exhale. Thighs and buttocks tight, find your inner thighs, squeeze there. Now push from the belly, lungs empty. And again, inhale. Deeper, fuller breath, taking in more air than you have so far yet. Keep inhaling, and then exhale, chest up. Head goes all the way back, and look way back with your eyes, and squeeze your elbows to touch so you're empty. Slowly inhale, belly in. Suck it in and tighten it up, keep lifting your chest, elbows up. And then exhale, eyes open, mouth wide open. Head goes all the way back, elbows touch. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows touch, and inhale, last time. Deepest breath you can take, stomach in tight, elbows up, get one more sip on top, and then exhale, Everything goes out. Push and squeeze from the abdominal muscles. And when you're empty, change. Relax your arms at your sides. Practice standing still. For a second set, it's the same motion. We just go at a faster pace. Instead of six seconds, inhale, exhale, we'll do four seconds. So go ahead and interlace your fingers, changing your grip. Other pinky forward, other thumb on top. Knuckles to chin. Same setup, thighs and buttocks tight. Exhale to get ready. And now you inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. And again, inhale, deeper, fuller breath. Same motion, exhale. Just moving a little bit faster with it, a little more dynamic, elbows touch. Slowly inhale. Filling up just as much as you did with the longer breath. Exhale, emptying just as completely as you did with the longer breath, elbows touch. Inhale, keep the legs strong, pull the belly in. Exhale. Ground the heels into the floor, elbows squeeze. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, keep stretching up, lifting up, open the ribs. Exhale, thighs tight, buttocks tight, belly tight, elbows touch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull the belly in, concentrate, really fill up, and then exhale, and now empty completely. Elbow squeeze, inhale. 
Belly in, exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Again, when you're empty, change. Relax your arms, stand still and take a breath. Half Moon Pose, inhale, arms up. Interlace and point, cross your thumbs, arms back, walk the elbows. Chin and chest up, lower body solid, weight into the heels, little hips forward. Now inhale, stretch and lift, and begin. Hips to the left, upper body to the right. Move in a straight line to the side. Keep elbows and knees locked, hips and shoulders parallel. Pull the belly up and in and squeeze through the inner thighs. Focus one spot straight ahead of you. Let your gaze rest, let your face relax, and of course you're moving the breath normally in and out of the nose. Weight into the heels. As you exhale, constant effort pushing your hips to the left. Pull the belly in. As you inhale, stretch, reach up and over to the right. Hold still. Breathe and then change. Come back to center. Again, elbows and knees locked. Weight to the heels. Inhale, you lift first and now tips to the right. Upper body to the left. Always moving slowly. Not allowing your body to lean forward or back, but going directly to the side, keeping everything parallel. Breathe in and out of the nose. Belly up and in, glutes tight, squeeze the inner thighs, lift the pelvic floor. And with the weight into the heels, exhale, push your hips to the right, hold them out there. Again, pull the belly in, arms back, lock your elbows. Inhale, stretch, reach to the left, hold steady, breathe normally, change again. Come back to center. And now backward bending, relax your neck and let your head drop all the way back. You can roll the head if you like, eyes wide open. Lower body solid, thighs tight, buttocks tight, weight to the heels, little hips forward. Squeeze your grip, inhale, reach up, exhale, and arms go back. Mouth closed, breathe through the nose. Squeeze your grip, inhale, reach up, exhale, arms back. Now start to push your stomach, hips, and thighs more forward. Weight into the heels, allow yourself to lean back into it as you look back, go back, and hold it. Change, inhale up to the top. Inhale, lengthen first, exhale, hinge forward at your hips, bend your knees if you need to. Touch the floor, open your hands, lean into your arms and bend your knees left and right and left and right. Whatever feels good and right for you, releasing the compression from the backward bend. And now we do hands to feet pose. So squat down, put stomach to thighs, chest to knees, slip the fingers under the heels, pinky fingers side by side, elbows back, elbows in and start. Pull the heels, lift the hips, roll the weight forward to the balls of the feet, straightening the legs as much as you can without separating your upper body from the lower body. At the same time, elbows pull back, elbows squeeze in, relax your neck, let your head hang. You might be ready to press face to legs. Finally, lift your shoulders and hold still. To change, bring your arms with your ears, flatten your back, even if the knees are bent, flatten your back. Inhale, reach out, keep inhaling, stretch up, and at the top, exhale and relax your arms to your sides. Take a breath. Second set, inhale, arms up. Our variation will be with the hands. Bring your palms together at the prayer position, one thumb crossed over the other, no interlace. Everything else will be the same. Arms back, elbows locked, chin up, chest up, lower body solid. With the weight to the heels, inhale, stretch and lift. And now it's hips to the left, upper body to the right. Again, move slowly, move in a straight line, elbows and knees are locked and your palms press together, your thumbs are relaxed, so you're using the shoulders, the arms to seal the grip, even the heel of the palms together. Keep your chin lifted, your head's on straight, breathe in and out of the nose, and as you exhale, push your hips to the left side. Then change, come back to center. Now you'll change which thumb is on top, so swap that, lock the elbows and the knees, and then inhale, stretch and lift. Now it's hips to the right, upper body to the left side. Breathe and relax your face. Relax your thumbs, but lock your elbows, press your palms flat together. Pull the belly up and in and squeeze the glutes and thighs tight. With the weight into the heels, exhale, push your hips to the right, belly in. Inhale, stretch, reach to the left. Change again, come back to center. And we go backwards, so relax your neck and let your head go back. Eyes open. Mouth closed, you can swap the thumbs once again. 
Squeeze your grip, inhale, reach up, exhale, and pull the arms back. Lower body is solid. Eyes looking way back. Squeeze the grip, inhale, lift, exhale, arms back, hips forward, lean back, eyes back, arms back, go back, change. Inhale up to the top. Inhale, lengthen first, exhale, hinge at your hips. Bend your knees anytime, hands to the floor, and, then, and loosen up for just a moment or two, relaxing the neck, squatting down. Again, whatever feels good and right for you. So second set, hands to feet pose. Instead of sliding the fingers under the heels, we'll simply rest the palms on the back of the ankles. Fingertips touching the floor. Elbows still pull back, elbows still in, stomach and thighs still touching. And then you begin to lift the hips and stretch your chest down your legs as you roll your weight forward to the balls of the feet. Again, straightening the legs as much as you can. A little less work in the arms, thinking more work with the abdominal muscles, finding length in your spine. Stretching your chest down your legs as you lift your hips up. Bring the weight more forward to the balls of the feet. Still lift your shoulders out of the ears. And at the end, relax the neck. Eyes stay open and hold still. Change. Bring arms with ears. Flatten your palms. You can bend your knees, but do flatten your back. Inhale out and up. And at the top, exhale, arms down. And practice standing still. Now we do the Vitasana Awkward Pose, open up your feet, hips width distance, ankles under hips, feet parallel, arms up, out in front of you, strong and energized, shoulders down, chest up, palms flat. Weight goes to the heels, inhale, lengthen up, exhale, belly in, and sit down till your thighs are parallel to the floor. Still six inches, feet, knees, and hands, more weight into the heels, arms forward to counterbalance. Now find your abdominal muscles, suck them in, tighten them up, and lift your chest. You arch your upper body back. Change, push up, and come all the way to tiptoes now. Heels up, and heels forward. Focus the eyes on spot, pull the belly up and in, and start to bend the knees. Pushing the heels more forward, sitting down. Eventually, thighs will be parallel to the floor, keeping the spine straight and keeping the heels lifted. So higher on your toes, Belly in, stronger with your arms. Change, push yourself all the way to the top. Once you're there, release your feet. Now lift your heels just a couple of inches off the floor, squeeze your knees and thighs together. Still strong with the arms, strong with the focus, and slowly you start to slide down toward your heels. Breathing and taking your time, not allowing gravity to grab a hold. And then you stop with your hips hovering above your heels, not resting on your calf, mother, calf muscles either. Strong arms, flat palms, concentrate. Press your knees very firmly together and slowly push yourself straight back up to the top. And when you arrive there, knees apart, heels down, arms down. Bring your feet back together and stand still just a moment. We'll continue second set, same as the first. So open up your feet once again, that hips width distance, feet parallel. Arms up straight out in front of you, strong and energized. Keep the shoulders down and the chest lifted. First part, weight to the heels. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, belly in, and you sit. Sit all the way down, never allowing the hips to go below the knees, but hips right in line with the knees. Now belly in tight and chest up, arching the upper body back. Change, push up, and float right up to the tiptoes. Heels up and heels forward. Allow your body weight to roll to the two big toes and then bend the knees. Lift the heels even higher now and with a straight spine, sitting down. Hips never go below the level of the knees. Still higher on the toes, spine straight, change again. Push all the way up to the top. Relax your feet, take a breath. Last part, heels lift a little bit, knees squeeze tight. Calm, steady breathing and slowly you start to sit down taking your time, challenging yourself, stopping before you feel yourself resting on your heels or your calves, knees together, knees down, spine up, squeeze the inner thighs, press the knees together, and slowly push straight back up, doing your best to maintain that straight spine to the top, knees apart, heels down, arms down, feet come back together. Eagle pose. Inhale, arms up, touch your palms, and bring right arm under left arm. Right under left, cross elbows, wrists, palms together, elbows, shoulders down. Then bend the knees, 
Lift the chest and bring your right leg over your left leg. Cross high, wrap and twist. Trying to hook the foot around the calf muscle, or at the very least pointing the toes in that direction, and then squeezing the knees, pulling the belly in, pulling elbows and shoulders down, palms pressed flat. Keep your head on straight, elbows down, hips down, and holding still. Change, feet together, inhale, arms up, open your chest, and now left arm under, left under right. Cross elbows and wrists, hands in the center. Elbows down, bend the knees, sit your hips down. Lift your chest, and now left leg up and over, left over right. Cross wrap twist, eventually hooking your foot, and then squeezing through the inner thighs. The foot is hooked, press ankle to calf. Eventually sitting till thigh is parallel, right thigh parallel. Now belly in, chest up, elbows down and holding. Change again, feet together, inhale, arms up, palms touch. Second set, we'll move arms and legs together. So we go right arm under, right leg over. Arms and legs together, right side. Very much a balanced challenge. So give yourself a couple tries, it is very fun. Same principles at work, squeezing through the inner thighs, pressing onto your left thigh with your right, pulling the elbows and shoulders down, belly in, chest up and holding. Change, you come out, arms and legs together, arms up, palms touch. Now left side, left arm under, left leg over. Move slow, again, give yourself a couple tries if you need it. And then sink down into the hips, squeeze the legs, pull the belly in, lift the chest. Change. Feet together, arms up, palms touch, and relax the arms. And we'll take a brief party time. Let's start again, standing head to knee. First set, bounce on the left leg first, that foot points straight ahead, pull your belly in, and pick up your right foot in front of you with 10 fingers interlaced at the base of the toes. All 10 of the fingers under the foot. Bring your gaze to your left leg, left knee. In the mirror, if you have a mirror, if not, on the floor, six to eight feet in front of you. Focus your eyes and lock your knee. Balance the weight on your standing foot, pull the belly in solid and kick your right foot forward. If your standing leg starts to bend, of course you come back to the beginning and practice locking your standing leg. Eventually you'll kick until you have two locked legs, two locked elbows, the belly in, the spine is long, and then from here exhale, bending the elbows, rounding the spine deeply, eventually getting elbows below calf muscles. Still the standing leg is locked. Change. Take your time to move out of your posture. Go through the same steps on the way out as you did on the way in. Now right foot points forward, pull the belly in, and pick up your left foot. Ten fingers interlaced at the base of the toes. Find that one spot to focus your eyes, either on the spot on the floor or in a mirror if you have one. Balance the weight on the standing foot. Lock your right knee and squeeze your right glute. If you're solid and strong, then kick your left foot forward. Again, if you start to wobble, bend, or shake, come back to the beginning practicing locking the standing leg. Nothing easy about it. Eventually both legs and elbows lock, then exhale, bend the elbows, round the spine. More work with the abdominal muscles, really strong there. Then change, slowly come out. Stand with two feet on the floor. Stand all the way up, relax your shoulders, your hands at your sides. So our second set variation, we'll stand once again on the left foot. Bring your right thigh parallel to the floor. Ankle under the knee, ankle flex. We'll start by bringing the head to the knee. So pulling the belly in, rounding down, bringing head to knee. Focus your eyes on your big toe, left big toe on the floor. Your hands can dangle at your side or they might be more comfortable behind your back, but getting your forehead to touch your knee. If you can maintain that, you would start to kick out. This is one that you definitely want to try a couple times. Now let's do the other side. Right foot points straight ahead, pull your belly in, Bend your left thigh up, bringing your left thigh parallel to the floor, ankle under knee, ankle flex. Now with your abdominal muscles tight, you'll curl down. 
careful not to bring knee to head, but rather you're bringing head to knee. Left thigh stays parallel to the floor. Focus the eyes on the big toe on the floor. If you can maintain that contact head to knee, you can start to kick left foot forward and then change. And relax, stand tall and take a breath. Standing bow pose. Bring right elbow out of the waist, palm up, reach back, pick up the right foot from the inside. <clears throat> Thumb part of the grip, touch the knees to level the hips, left arm straight up. Energize the left side, knee and elbow lock, chin up, inhale, reach up, and start to kick your right leg straight back and up, and at the same time, stretch, reach your left arm forward. Lots of energy in your left arm, all the way out to your hand. As you kick your right leg back and up, pull your right hip down toward the floor. Your right shoulder goes back, your left arm shoulder comes forward. Kick back, kick up, reach forward and slowly pivot on your hip, getting your abdomen to lower down, chin lifted, head on straight, change. Come back to standing with your feet together and arms at your sides, take a breath. Other side, left elbow out, palm up, reach back, pick up the foot. Touch the knees, right arm straight up. Feel yourself strong and organized here. Inhale, reach up on the right side and now start to kick your left leg straight back and up as you stretch, reach your right arm shoulder forward. Move slowly. Keep squeezing your left glute so left hip is rolling down as the left leg goes back and up. Relax your left shoulder back so you can bring your right arm shoulder more forward. Yes, the scapula pulling apart from each other. Chin is lifted, head stays on straight, and you slowly start to pivot, bringing your abdomen down, kicking your left toes up, reach your right arm forward. Change again, come back to standing with your feet together and arms at your sides. So take a breath. Second set will continue, same as the first. Once again, right elbow out, palm up, reach back, pick up the foot. Touch the knees and bring your left arm straight up. Inhale, reach up on the left side and start to kick straight back and up. Sarah has chosen to reach her right hand or hold a little bit lower on the right leg. That's certainly an option. And as your foot starts to come even higher behind the head, you can allow the, the grip to slide down toward the ankle, even the lower shin. Reach more forward on the left side, body down, kick, change. Come back to feet together. And one more time. Left elbow out, palm up, reach down, pick up the foot. Touch the knees, right arm up. Focus one spot, inhale, reach up on the right side and pull the bow. Kick back and up. Left hip rotating down as the left leg goes back. Torso's twisting, left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, but the head doesn't go along with it, head stays on straight, body down, reach and kick, change again, come back to feet together and arms at your sides. All right, let's prepare for balancing sticks, so move to the back of your mat, feet together, inhale, arms up, interlace point, cross your thumbs, arms back, lock the elbows, step forward, right foot, shift the weight, lock the knees, inhale, stretch and pivot, body down and leg up till you're a capital letter T. Arms lift higher, bring the leg up till it's level, pull the belly up and in, now stretch forward and stretch back, change. Step back, feet together, stay lifted with your chest, always breathing, step forward, left foot, shift the weight, knees are locked, inhale, pull apart, then pivot, body down and leg up, bringing the chest down a little lower than you think it needs to come, and then lifting the arms up, keeping your neck in line with the rest of the spine, then belly in, knees locked, point your toes and stretch, change, step back, Feet together and arms down and take a breath. All right, second set, we'll introduce a separate arm variation. Starts the same as the first, inhale, arms up. Palms are together, there's no interlace, so it's just a prayer grip with thumbs crossed. But still arms back, lock the elbows, step forward, right foot, shift the weight, lock the knees, inhale, stretch, and then come into your balancing sit. Once you reach parallel, part the arms, Bring them out to the side and you start to drop your chest down towards your thigh while you keep your chest lifted, belly toward thigh and left leg lifting. And then you move back through balancing stick and step back, feet together. Other thumb on top, 
left side. Step forward, left foot, shift the weight, lock the knees, inhale, stretch, and move into your balancing sit. Be stable there, then part the arms, spread them out like wings, and start to drop belly to thigh, chest and chin lifted, right toes lifting, and then moving back through balancing sit, coming back, feet together, and arms at your side. Okay, let's do our separate leg series. Move now to the top of your mat. Turn to the side so you have mat to step onto. Feet together, inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, big step across the mat, arms down. Pigeon toe the feet, squeeze the thighs. Inhale, lift the chin and chest, and exhale, you fold in half. Long, flat back. Hands down the backs of the legs. Wherever the hands land is good. Keep the knees locked. So lift the kneecaps up by engaging your quadricep muscles. Lift your sits bones up toward the ceiling, and in opposition, press your chest down toward the floor, your sternum. If the hands are on the floor, slip the fingers under the heels. You can bend your elbows, forearms to the shins, shoulders away from the ears. And then change, arms out, come up slowly as you inhale, and then right foot to left foot, and arms to the Second set, same set up. Feet together, inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, big step, arms down parallel. Toes in, thighs tight. Inhale, lift your chin and chest. Exhale and fold in half. So we get in the same way. Instead of bringing the hands down the back of the legs, we can interlace the hands behind the back and then start to bring the arms over the head. Still keeping the chin just a little bit lifted. So you're looking in between the toes. Lifting the sits bones up, lifting the kneecaps up. And then you can release the grip. Let your hands slide down the backs of the legs. Stretch down. And then change, arms out to the sides. Inhale, come up slowly. And bring your right foot to your left foot and your arms straight down. Then triangle pose. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, big step across your mat, arms down parallel to the floor. Wide stance, hands up and back, belly in. Pivot on the right heel, right foot to the right, and bend the right knee, right thigh parallel to the floor. And then move the arms. Right elbow to the inside of the right knee can be your wrist or your forearm. Left arm stretches up, chin to the shoulder. Keep the whole left leg strong. Outside edge of the left foot to the floor, left thigh tight, left glute tight, rolling your left hip down and forward. So you push your right knee back and rotating your upper body back. Stretch your arms apart, then change your arms, and straighten your leg, turn your right toes in, your left toes out. Hands up, belly in, and bend your left knee, sitting down until thighs parallel, and then rotating the arms, elbow to the knee, chin to the right shoulder, right arm reaching up, left arm stretching down, no weight on the left elbow or fingers, whole right leg is strong, Press your left heel into the floor so you can reach your right arm up. A little bit left knee back, bring both hips forward. These are very subtle motions. Right hip down and forward, rotating, now twisting your upper body back. Change your arms and straighten, toes in, feet together, and arms to your sides. Stand up tall, relax your shoulders, your hands, and breathe. Okay, the second set, start again. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Belly in. Pivot right foot to the right. Bend your right knee, sit down. And then rotate the arms, elbow to the knee, chin to the right, left shoulder. Our variation would be to drop your left arm down, wrap it around, and bind at the left thigh or hip. Still stretching your right arm down. Rotating your left rib cage, left side of the torso back, whole left leg strong and energized. When you release the bind, stretch your left arm up and then change the arms, straighten the leg, turn right toes in, turn left toes out, hands up, belly in, and then bending the left knee. So everything staying the same in our setup. Rotate the arms, elbow to the knee, chin to the right shoulder, torso still lifted off the left thigh as you can then rotate bring your right arm around and grab at the thigh or the hip or whatever is available. Still rotating the torso back as you bring the hips forward, rotating the right hip forward. 
and then release the bind, reach your right arm up and change the arms and straighten the leg, toes in, feet together and arms to your sides. Now standing separate leg, head to knee pose, feet together, inhale, arms up, palms together, just thumbs crossed like always, three foot step to right and then turn to face the right, both feet, both hips. Squeeze your inner thighs, inhale, reach, exhale, tuck chin to chest and slowly round down, bringing fingertips to the toes and forehead to the knee. Of course, you can open your hands, of course, you can bend your knee. Keep your arms straight, push the floor away from you, pull your belly in, tuck your chin under and start to put some pressure on your knee with your head. Then change, lock both knees, arms with your ears, slowly come up. Take a moment there, pause, there's no rush. Then pivot 180 degrees and bump your right hip forward so both hips square. Then inhale, reach up, exhale, now tuck chin to chest, curl in and round down. Bring fingertips to the toes and forehead to the knee. Again, bend your knee as much as you need to. Notice that Sarah has straight elbows, straight wrists, just fingertips into the floor. You want the whole length of the arms working for you to help you find more space and rounding in your spine. Change, arms and ears together, slowly uncurl, head comes up last. Pivot center, right foot to left foot and arms to your sides. And take a breath. Second set, we'll do the same thing. Inhale, arms up. Palms together, do put the other thumb on top and take a three foot step to the right. Turn to face the right, both feet, both hips. Inhale, reach, exhale, tuck, curl and go in slowly. Keep pushing the left hip forward, really wants to open out. Keep hips balanced, forehead to the knee. Bend your knee as much as you need to. Better to bend the knee than to bend the elbows. Push the floor away from you. Move more weight to your front foot, lifting right hip up, dropping left hip down, stomach in tight. To change, lock both knees, push through the ball of the front foot to slowly uncurl with control and stability. Take a pause, then pivot 180 degrees. Push your right hip forward, inhale, reach, exhale, tuck, curl. Keep pushing the right hip forward as you round down. Be more aware of your pelvis, forehead to the knee. Bend your knee as much as you need to. More weight to the front foot, left hip up, right hip down. Pressure on the knee with the head. To change, lock both knees, push through the ball of the left foot, slowly uncurl, head comes up last. Pivot center, feet together and arms down. And return to the center of the mat for tree pose. Balance on the left leg first, lock your knee, pick up your right foot, use both hands to work the heel toward the belly button. A lot of things that you can do to get into the hip, as you saw Sarah pull the knee up to the chest, you can pull the ankle up toward um, the other hip, and then holding that foot as high as you can manage, gently working your right knee down and in. And the opposition, of course, is to bring the hips underneath you. Notice how Sarah's spine is neutral and tall. Pelvis is level. Pull the belly up and in and squeeze through your inner thighs. Change. Right foot on the floor, right knee locked. Pick up your left foot. Again, you can pull the knee to the chest. Cradle the foot from underneath with the right hand holding that foot as high as is possible, allowing the left knee to stick up as much as need, needed to keep the foot in that high and center line position. And then setting up your oppositions, your left knee moving back and in toward the right, using the inner thighs, squeezing the glutes, pulling the belly in. Relax your standing foot. Change, two feet on the floor and arms to your side. Our second set variation is already built into the series, so here we are into, into toe stance. Stand on your left foot, pick up your right. Same setup as tree pose, foot to the junction of hip and thigh would be ideal, right hand to your chest if your foot stays left hand, 
but by all means hold the foot if needed. Look at the floor, one spot, four feet in front of you, and bow down, bringing your hands to the floor, lean into the arms, bend the knee, let your left heel lift up high. Sit yourself onto that lifted heel, hands to either side of the hips. Focus your eyes, one spot. Keeping the gaze still really helps still the body. And then hands to the chest one at a time. Do point your right toes and squeeze your knees toward each other. If you feel balanced, you can lift the gaze. If you feel balanced, you can push up off the heel. Change, bring your hands out in front of you all the way into the arms as you lift your hips. Come back through your tree pose, possibly with grace and stability, and then change. And we'll do it one more time. Stand on the right and pick up the left. Again, ideally getting that foot to the junction of hip and thigh, but if that's not happening for you, you can certainly do toe stand with your foot at mid-thigh. It begins the same way. Look at the floor one spot, four feet in front of you. Bend forward like you're bowing. Hands to the floor, lean into the arms. Bend your right knee and let your left, your, excuse me, your right heel lift up high. You're centering that heel, so it's either under your coccyx or under your left sits bone. Hands to either side of the hip, so you start with a straight spine. One hand to your chest, then the other. Keep the gaze still. Keep the legs energized, left toes pointed, gently squeezing the knees in. Feeling balanced, you can lift the gaze, maybe even push up off the heel. Then to change, hands out in front, lift yourself up. Come back through your tree pose. Change two feet on the floor. And now Savasana on your back. Head at the top of your mat. And palms up. Keep the eyes open. Let your body be heavy. Let your feet flop open. Bring your attention to your breath. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Now when you move in pose, please bend the right leg up, interlace the fingers, grab the leg a few inches below the knee, bind the knee up to the shoulder, and you pull. Avoid the ribs, of course, keep the shoulders out of the ears, relax your legs, pull with the grip and the biceps, head stays on the floor, but chin tucks in. Change, right leg down, and left leg up, interlace, bind the knee up to the shoulder, and you pull, squeeze the elbows in, the shoulders stay relaxed, head on the floor, chin tucked in. Change again. And now bring both legs up, wrap the arms around the legs and reach for opposite elbows. Squeeze your knees in, pull your knees to your chest. Keep your head on the floor, bring your chin towards your chest. Press your shoulders toward the hips and toward the floor and allowing your tailbone to roll back down toward the floor. So you're pulling your knees down, tucking your chin in, pressing your shoulders down, and rolling the hips down. Change, relax your arms and legs down. Palms up, eyes open. Take a breath. So second set, bend the right leg up. Our variation will be to um, how we hold the leg. We'll bring your right elbow over the right knee, and then the left arm, uh, left hand reaches for right elbow. So same as when we do both legs, each hand holding the opposite elbow. And you'll pull your right knee into your shoulder. Keeping the head on the floor, chin tucked in, everything else is the same, just each hand holding the opposite elbow. Change. Right leg down, and then left leg up. So now the left elbow hugs the left knee, and each hand holds the opposite elbow. Pull the knee into the shoulder, tuck the chin to the chest, relax your legs. Change again. And now both legs up, and wrap the arms around the legs, changing your grip though, other forearm towards your face. Pull the knees down, tuck the chin in, shoulders down, and rolling the hips down. Keep looking down at your chest with your eyes. 
shoulders toward the floor and the hips and hold still. Change again, relax your arms and legs down, palms up, eyes open, and again, practice Savasana. Let's do the sit up, bring the legs together, flex the feet, energize the legs, pull the belly in, then inhale, lungs up, keep inhaling, sit up, double exhale, dive forward, stretch, forehead to shins, and then turn over onto the belly, Spine strengthening starts with Cobra Pose. So chin forward for a set, hands under the shoulders. Chin forward. Bring your legs together. Then exhale, squeeze sides, buttocks tight. Inhale and you peel up. Chin up, chest up. Lift your chin up, bend your neck back. Elbows in, shoulders down. Squeeze through the low body, squeeze through your inner thighs. Pubic bone down, chest up, chest back, and change. Slowly come down. Chin touches, turn your head to the right, relax your arms at your sides, relax your hips and your legs, relax your shoulders. Second set will offer a variation. Bring your chin forward and now open your legs out wide to the edges of your mat. You'll start with an exhale, squeeze the low body, palms down, inhale and lift your chest up. Reaching your hands towards your knees, pressing your pubic bone down as you lift your chest up and back, still bending your neck back, still breathing, little sips of air, chest up, lift up, come up, change, exhale, lower down, bring your legs back together, turn your head left, right it on the floor. Lotus pose, chin forward, hips up, arms underneath with your palms on the floor. Arms as close as you can manage underneath you, palms down, fingers wide, chin forward. Now just the right leg, walk the knee, stretch it back and lift your right leg up. Press your hands and your shoulders down, squeeze your right thigh, point your toes, stretch the leg back, lift the leg up. Change, right leg down, relax it, walk the left and left leg lifts up. Knee lock, thighs tight, toes pointed, press your hands down, your shoulders down, roll your left hip down. Change, left leg down. Tuck your chin in, put your mouth on the mat. If you can, get your arms a little closer, hands toward the knees. Get ready, big inhale, lock the knees, exhale, both legs up. Press your hands down, your shoulders down, squeeze the legs tight. Shoulders down, change. Lower down, arms out. Turn your head to the right and relax. Do keep your eyes open, but keep the gaze close to you. Breathe in and out of the nose. And second set, chin forward, arms underneath. Second set, we'll do the same as the first. Fingers open, chin forward, right leg, lock the knee, and right leg lifts up. Find the opposition here, right hip down, right leg up, sole of the foot flat to the ceiling. Change, right leg down, relax right, lock left, left leg up. Press your hands and shoulders down, squeeze the left thigh very tight. Change, left leg down, tuck the chin, mouth down, get ready, big inhale, lock the knees, exhale, and both legs up. Squeeze the legs, hands down, shoulders down, mouth down, squeeze the legs, legs up, lift up, change, lower down, arms out, and look left side. Completely relax. Full lotus pose, bring your chin forward, arms out to the sides. Fingers together, get ready. Exhale, squeeze the legs. Inhale, and you lift. Arms, head, chest, and legs, everything lifting up. Hands up, chest up. Bend your neck back, look back with your eyes. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Thighs up, chest up. Change, exhale, lower down, arms at your sides, left ear on the towel, and relax. Second set, chin forward, arms out to the sides. So we'll do some arm variations while we're in the posture, so listen closely. Get ready, exhale, squeeze the legs, inhale and lift up, coming up like normal. And then start to sweep the arms forward, palms facing up. Move slowly, keep lifting. 
and then sweeping the arms back to the sides, palms can rotate down, and then sweeping the arms behind you, still lifting your chest and lifting your legs, bring arms out to the sides, lift one more time, come up, and then change, lower down, look left, and arms at your sides, beautifully done. Bow pose, chin forward, bend your knees, grab your feet, thumbs next to the other fingers, knees, feet about hip distance. Prepare with an exhale, point the toes, then inhale and start to kick the thighs back and up, lifting the chest up and back, bending the neck back. Roll forward, rest on that lowest rib and breathe a shallow breath. Squeeze the glutes, use your hamstrings to kick your legs back and to kick your legs up. Chest up, chest back, bend the neck back, look up, change. Lower down, release your feet and your arms, and look right, and relax. Second set, chin forward. Bend the knees, now here's our variation. You'll grab the ankles and flex your feet and your toes. If you can, bring knees, feet, hip distance. Get ready, exhale, and inhale, kick back and up. And now you're kicking through the heels. Still rolling forward, resting on the soft belly, still lifting the chest up and back, bending the neck all the way back, using the eyes. Flex the feet, flex the toes. Reach up with the heels, kick up, kick up, change. Release, release your feet, and turn your head, look left side. Moving on to fix firm, chin forward, hands under the shoulders, give yourself a little push up, and then crawl forward, come to the top of your mat, and sit on your heels, and then come forward, open your feet a little wider than your hips, make sure your feet point straight back, lower yourself. If you're seated, then you can go back onto the elbows, of course, if you're not seated, your first adjustment would be to part your knees wide. If you're all the way back, arms up over the head, chin to chest. Knees are down, hips are down, shoulders, head are on the floor. The belly and the chest are lifting up. Change, push yourself back up. Once you're all the way up, immediately turn around and rest in Savasana. Still find one spot for your gaze to rest. Bring your attention to your breathing. step out of your own way and become an observer of sensations, thoughts, feelings. And another sit up, legs together, feet are flexed, legs are strong. Inhale, arms up, keep inhaling, sit up, double exhale, and you stretch forward. Second set, fixed firm will be just the same as always. So you can start by sitting on your heels, then open your feet a little wider, and then slowly going back. Remember, you can stop anywhere along the way that feels right for you. Please listen to your body, pay close attention to your knees. If you're all the way back, let's change to chest, arms over the head, each hand holding the opposite elbow, knees pressing down, hips stay grounded as you lift your stomach and your chest up toward the ceiling. Change again, push yourself up. And once you're all the way up, again, into Savasana quickly and without distraction. Start again, legs together, flex the feet. Inhale, arms up, bend, sit up. Arms stay with the ears, double exhale, dive forward. And turn around for half tortoise pose. Sit on the heels, knees, feet together, spine tall. Inhale, arms up. Palms together, inhale, you lengthen, and you slowly fold. Doing your best to keep your hips down, come down with control, and rest your forehead to the floor, then the edge of the pinky fingers to the floor. Chin away from the chest. Neck relax, let your head be heavy. Locking the elbows as you reach your arms forward, sinking your hips towards your heels, stomach to the thighs. Then exhale to sink low, inhale, energize, reach your hands out, lift your hands, 
Then your head come up to the top and exhale, arms down and turn and rest. Again, Savasana. Start again, legs together, flex the feet, inhale, arms up, bend, sit up, double exhale, make a real stretch, forehead to the shins, and turn around for a second set. The variation will come once we get into the pose, so set up the same way, knees, feet together, inhale, arms up, palms together, do put the other thumb on top, inhale, you lengthen, and then slowly you pull, coming down forehead to the floor, edge of the pinky fingers, <clears throat> excuse me, to the floor. Once you're here, you can now part your knees, keeping your feet closer to each other. You can part the knees and let your stomach go between your thighs, reaching the arms forward. Still allowing your head to be heavy, your neck is relaxed. You have choices to come out. You can either bring your knees back together and come out the same way we always do, or you can simply start to walk yourself back up to the top, sit up tall, and then change. Rest on your back and practice Savasana. Start again, legs together, flex your feet. Inhale, arms up, bend, sit up. <clears throat> Stretch forward for a set of camel pose. So standing up on your knees, with your knees about hip width, tops of the feet on the floor slightly closer, hands to the base of the spine, fingers pointing down. Glutes squeeze tight, inhale, lift the chest and the chin, let your head come up and back, using your eyes to look way back. Relax your neck and let your head go all the way back. Yeah, reaching for your feet if you're ready, and then pushing the hips forward. Always appropriate to keep hands at the base of the spine as well. You can simply squeeze elbows toward each other. Squeeze the glutes push the hips forward. And change. Help yourself back up. Sit your hips back down and then turn around and rest on your back. Second set, legs together, flex your feet. Inhale, arms up, then sit up. Double exhale, back forward. And we'll set up our second set variation. A couple things will change here. This time, part your knees about mat width, and the feet, tops of the feet still on the floor, but feet are closer. The hands will be at the front of the thighs, and we'll start the same way now. Inhale, lift your chest, your chin, lift up tall, head goes all the way back. Now the hands are reaching down the front of the thighs, eventually reaching through the knees as you continue to come up and back and creating your deep backward bend. Yes, reaching the hands around toward the front of the knees as you look across the ceiling, down the wall, looking for the floor behind you. And then change, support yourself, or just come back up, sit back down, and then turn around and rest again. Next, legs together, flex your feet, inhale, arms up, and strong sit up. Stay energized, double exhale, get a real stretch, and then turn around for rabbit. Sitting on the heels, spine tall. Of course, if you're very slippery at this point, you can use the towel over the heels. Sit up tall, exhale, tuck chin, round down, forehead to knees, top of the head to the floor. Before you lift your hips, make sure you have a tight grip on your heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside, hold the heels, now lift your hips, roll forward until your arms have gone straight. If there's a gap between your knees and your head, you can close the gap by walking knees to head or get it close. Now lifting the hips up and pulling on the heels with the hands to take the weight out of the head. Notice the elbows stay straight. Lift your shoulders out of your ears and pull your belly in. Press your feet down with your hands. So one more time, lift your hips, pull on your heels, lift your shoulders, and pull your belly in. Then change, sit back down, slowly uncurl, head comes up last, take your time with this part. And then rest in Savasana. Eyes open.
Second set, legs together, flex your feet. Inhale, arms up, and then sit up. Double exhale, dive forward. Second set, rabbit, exactly the same as the first. So sit on the heels, get your hands in the right place. Thumbs outside, fingers inside on the heels. Sit up tall. Exhale, tuck chin and curl in. Rounding down forehead to the knees, hold the heels, lift the hips, roll forward. Top of the head onto the floor. You're not rolling back onto the crown of the head. Knees, maybe walk a little closer to the head. Hold the heels firmly and begin to set up your opposition. Hips lifting, hands pulling, shoulders lifting, belly in. Eventually, thighs are perpendicular to the floor. If you have anything left to give, squeeze your heels back together. Then change, sit back down, slowly uncurl, head comes up last. Turn around and rest again. And for the final stretching, legs together, flex your feet. Inhale, arms up, keep inhaling and sit up. Double exhale, dive forward and turn around for separate leg stretching. So right leg out, left leg in, just 90 degrees. Inhale, arms up, interlace, turn to face the right leg, round down and head to knee, and grip at the base of the toes. Always okay to bend your knee as much as you need to. Touch your forehead to your knee. Get a tight grip at the base of your toes, tight interlace grip, and then start to press down on your knee with your head. Pull back on your foot with your grip, flex your ankle, and pull the belly in. Change, come up, swap the legs. You can bring your arms down or leave them up, up to you. Arms up, interlace, and go to the other side. Head to knee, tight grip at the base of the toes. Pull back on the foot, press down on the knee. If your leg is straight, you'll eventually bend your elbows in and down. If the elbows touch the floor, slide your forehead even higher up the leg. Change again, come up. Legs together out in front of you, lie on your back, do a quick sit up to realign your spine. And then use your first two fingers to hook your two big toes, bending your knees as much as you need to. Flex your feet, get up off your sits bones, straighten the legs, straighten the spine, inhale, lengthen up, and then slowly folding. Eventually getting stomach to thighs, chest to knees. Now you might have bent legs, your spine might be rounded. Straighten your spine, and then try to straighten your legs. Flex your feet more, get your pinky toes to come back towards your ears, and then change. Come up, and turn around, and rest again. Second set, legs together, flex your feet, inhale, arms up, bend, sit up, double exhale, dive forward. So here are our second set variations for stretching. You can stick your right leg out just like you normally would. Bring your left leg into a half lotus position. So the foot rests at the very top of the thigh. Of course, if this is not appropriate for your hips or your knees, by all means, do it the beginner way. Inhale, arms up, interlace, same thing. Forehead to knee, fingers interlaced at the base of the toes. Pressing down on the knee with the head, pulling back on the foot with the grip. Bending the elbows if the leg is straight, pulling the belly in, bringing your forehead higher up your leg. Change, come up and swap. Now the left leg out and the right leg comes in, bringing the foot right up to the crease of the thigh. Arms up, interlace, and go left side, head to knee. Pull the belly in. Press down on the knee, pull back on the foot. The leg is straight, elbows bending in and down. The heel might lift off. Slide your head higher up your leg. Change, come up. Legs together out in front of you, lie on your back again. Quick sit up to realign the spine. And now we'll move into straddle pose. So open your legs out wide, as wide as you can get. Then bring your hands behind your hips and push your hips forward, allowing your feet to open out even further. Energize your legs. Flex your feet, toes toward the ceiling, or even back toward you, reaching out through the heels, squeeze the thighs. Keeping the spine tall, you might need to keep your hands behind your hips to maintain an upright spine, perfectly acceptable. 
If you can, bring your hands out in front of you and maintain an upright spine, do that. To go even further, you would walk your arms forward, eventually laying your stomach onto the floor in front of you, chin forward. Eventually, you can bring your hands to your toes. And then change, push yourself back up. Always move slowly and carefully. Now bring the soles of your feet together with your butterfly pose. Interlace your fingers, grab the toes, and bring your heels toward your um, center as you press your knees down toward the floor. Start with a straight spine, sitting up tall, and then you can introduce a forward fold, bending at the hips with a long spine. Keep pressing the knees down, eventually bringing the forehead to the floor. You can use your elbows to help press your knees, your thighs down. And then change, come up. Same way you went into it. And then turn around and rest in Savasana. Legs together, flex your feet. Inhale, arms up and sit up. Double exhale, dive forward. And our final posture will be the half spine twist. So turn. Bend your left leg so your left knee lines up with your belly button. Of course, if that doesn't work for you, your left leg can be straight. Your right leg crosses over with your ankle at your knee. What's important here is that you have two sit bones on the floor. Right arm behind, left arm up and over, reaching your left hand for your left knee. Sitting up tall, inhale, lengthening, and then you start to rotate, pulling your right shoulder back, turning your head. You're welcome to lift up the right arm behind you, reach it around and grab for the inner left thigh, full sits bones down, press your left knee down, inhale lengthen, exhale and twist, belly in tight, and then change and twist, and swap the legs, so now it's the right leg that's on the floor, bent if you can, straight is fine, left leg crosses over, get both sits bones on the floor so you're anchored. Now it's left arm behind, right arm up and over using the tricep, not just the elbow, but reach down the tricep to push that top knee out of the way. Reach down, grab the knee on the floor if you can. First sit up tall and straight, so inhale, lengthen, exhale, and now start to rotate. Again, if you don't need that arm behind you, you lift it and you wrap it. Beautiful view of Sarah doing that here. Both sits bones grounded. Right knee is down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, and rotate. Pull the belly in. Turn your head, use your eyes, look all the way back. And then change and twist and rest. Practice Savasana. And we'll do one more sit up. Legs together, flex your feet, belly in. Inhale, arms up and sit up. Double exhale and dive forward. And turn around and we'll finish with our Kapalabhati breathing. Sitting on the heels, knees, feet together. Bring your hands to your legs, arms straight, without letting your shoulders roll forward. So shoulders stay down and relaxed, chest stays lifted, belly is relaxed. Get ready with an inhale breath, and exhale.
well done. Now practice the final savasana. Don't skip this part, even at home. Give yourself at least two minutes to rest with your eyes closed. Breathe in and out of your nose. And take in the benefits from all your hard work.